Hello and welcome back to The Witcher. We're picking up where we left off. Just finished helping out Kira. Um, took out some of the Wild Hunt's men. And now we're going to go back to Kira's house. Hopefully have access to a shop inventory. Where the hell is this horse? <laughs> Okay, the horse is not here. I don't know where he is. I'll keep trying. But, um... Yeah, we're gonna continue on side missions for a little bit longer. There he is. Hopefully get some leveling up. And... We will continue with the main mission shortly. But I really want to go get access to her shop inventory first. So I'll see you over there, which hopefully won't be long. Alright, here we are. Hopefully, actually we're going to pillage her garden first. Cool. The rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a poison, or crushed them into a... Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage, says, bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Okay. Beautiful. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. Very much so. What we're looking for, ideally, are oil. Recipes. Should be these ones. Beast oil, perfect. Um, we will need that eventually. That's useful, very useful, useful, eventually useful. But draconid oil. Are we actually broke, broke. We're actually broke. <laughs> Okay, let us sell some things. What can she take? Have that. Have that, I don't care. You can have all that. I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. How much was it? The Draconid Oil, 50. Beautiful. Now... The ultimate test, and we create it all. Do that. Need to call water. Alright, wolf's liver. There go, seeds. This is why I wanted to save up a lot of money, so I could do all of this now. There go, seeds, we need four. Do you have a wolf's liver? Uh, I'm not seeing one. It's wine stone. Need one ducal water. Um, I do not see a wolf's liver. Need dog tallow as well. So I need to buy two of those if she has them. I'm not seeing it. I could be blind. Nope, she does not have it, so we have to go kill some dogs. That, that sounds a lot worse than I intended it to. <laughs> Alright, black blood. That's going to be useful later on. Do you have water essence? 
I'd actually really like to have that cat potion. You do not. Oh, anyway, I had a request. You mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. You gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Pserad, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. A real gentleman. Hmm. Why well, I never met him. But he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. So this is kind of a monster hunt, so we, we want to press for as much information as we can to get an idea of what we're hunting. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen. I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. We'll help. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you, I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Never found a use for it, I'll be quite honest. <laughs> Apart from this mission. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use. Provided rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Alright, we're off. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fai Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm hmm? Thank you. Whereas, before we go, yes, I want to see if she has. She didn't. Very much. So. If she has 
anything to repair my sword with. Didn't take any notice of anything. It's a long shot, she is only an alchemist. Does not look that way. Alright. See you, Kira. Okay, let's equip the Nope, it is equipped already. We are going to do those meditate. Want our potions to be refilled as well as our bombs. Alright. Now unfortunately our stuff is very damaged. Alright, we will help her. We'll do it now, just because it is the closest. There's a lot of drowners down there. They might actually push me, so I'm gonna oil up my sword now. As damaged as it is. Sorry, you guys stay there. We actually passed the, the boat on the way in. There it is. Really? I mean, I admire your persistence. <laughs> You guys stay there. Ah. Okay. Take the helm. And let's get moving. So just follow this river all the way down. You'll see an aisle. Oh wow. Come back to this one where they're closer. Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. There we go. can't hear. Great, broke already. Sheesh, short-lived this magic. What did you say? There's some interference. You must be very careful. Okay, it's just a lot of drowners, really. Nothing we can't really handle, even with a broken sword. here some loot to be had hunting trousers nothing nothing that amazing I'm Mr. Drano I'm just gonna get in my way Some ghouls to be expected. It was a massacre here after all. Ow. Damn, you're ugly.
once we get to the tower, it's less of a slug. And then at that point, the magic lamp becomes useful. There's really nothing out here. Except ghouls and rot fiends. That's a lot of them. <laughs> We need to oil up, because we're kind of struggling here. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> Unreal. I'm about to die to some ghouls. Ugly bastard. I mean, the damaged sword's not helping. Jesus. Got there in the end. Still got two more. Come on, let's do this. Wow, I'm messing up massively, man. Rookie errors. There we go. Good lord. Alright. We should be safe from monsters now. Nothing should be in. I have been wrong before though. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to kill that. Otherwise that's just gonna get in the way. I uh, don't want to use 20 oil. I'll eat some bread. I'm actually going to use a thunderbolt potion on her. Oh, whoa. That's why you don't want to get hit by her. She's stunned you and you can't actually attack her. Where is she? And we got our last water essence. We should be able to create a potion, no? What am I missing? Oh no, I already have it. I thought I needed... Oh no, I need one more water essence. Close, but no cigar. Anyway. Into the tower and pull out the magic lamp. Let's eat some bread while we're at it. Let's try Kira's lamp. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. 
More like a peasant now, sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for it, and a daughter. To the top! This is... This is uh, quite the sad story. If you're not... Um... If you've never played it before, this is actually quite a sad outcome. And we'll work this out when we get further up the tower. Eat some bread on the way up. Annabelle, back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head, but one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. have up blood many must have died here place is full of rats as many dead as alive I think they're feeding on Look, Geralt, stop you needn't be so detailed peasants didn't come here to ask nicely So yeah, use your witcher senses as well as you go up the tower. Some extra little snippets of backstory. Gold! Piles of it! I oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? <laughs> Load up as we go up the tower as well. So you get things like this. And we just got an upgrade to our armor. Not much, but it will do. It's a little precarious going up the tower, especially here, there's no railings. Just take your time. Where are you? Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Lover here. Opens up. Well, as you can see. There's, um... Someone dragged something across the floor. Moore dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. So I just want to hit these levers till this door opens. Flip them both down and hopefully it kicks open. There we go. Are these notes if you would like to read it? It's got a diagram for a weapon. That was unintentional. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. 
I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I, we hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Mage who lived here, who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us rich. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell? What it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. Before I later awoke, I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens, hundreds, and I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. What a absolute terrible way to die. Looked like a monster had attacked oh. him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You're to be my savior, not my tormentor. Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. 
The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it, but... Who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Grail? No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled, and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Your beloved, who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected, strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I... loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him, he must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? I'm not even sh sure I trust her. <laughs> really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You got know that right. It's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. I get a feeling she's lying, but if you don't get that impression, I think you may need to uh, look inward for a little bit, because... There are a lot of red flags. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that... Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone would finally take pity on me. And that is why we do lots of information. This is why we press for information. <laughs> We're getting it swarmed by rats here. All right, take a breath. Let's by our spectre oil. Got Yerden down. Don't have any diamond iridium bombs. I'm going to hit. Gotta catch them. Let's go chase her down. So yes, you definitely don't want to help her. This is, that entire conversation is all red flags toward the end. It's a very sad death, but obviously something that was off. Let's follow her downstairs. Here it is. Let's put down Yerden. Oof. What was that? Is 
sounded for a moment like you joined the race yourself. Had to fight a pester. A pester? And did you learn how to lift the curve before you lunged at her sword in hand? <laughs> Not quite. Yes, we talked a bit. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. Okay, hey, but we're gonna leave it here for now. We're gonna finish the towel for us tomorrow. Oh, not tomorrow. <laughs> Next episode. So, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, hit uh, like, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.